Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be removing the oxygen sensor from our Yamaha HPDI and cleaning it and placing it back. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you enjoy this uh, episode in Florida for Funshine. Let's do it. Okay, and here is what I recommend uh, for this project. You might need other items and you'll see as you're cleaning them, but I will get some sort of um, carb cleaner, whether it's from AutoZone or from wherever uh, you want to get it, but you need a good carb cleaner. I re highly recommend a, a bottle of Seafoam. Um, that's also an item that you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a wrench with a 10 millimeter socket. I use a small one. It's not, you know, it's not torqued up where I can't um, use it. You're going to need this item here. This one is a oxygen sensor socket. That's the, what they call it, oxygen sensor socket. And the reason it, you need one of these because here, is where you can slip it into the uh, oxygen sensor and you're able to loosen it up. Now, you know, if you're creative and you know you have your handy, you might figure it out with another type of wrench um, or whatever, another socket, but uh, this is what's practical and, and what is used for O2 sensor, for an oxygen uh, sensor. If you don't need to buy it, um, I mean, don't buy it. Um, but this is what I use because it just makes it a, a cleaner um, project uh, and it's an easier project with this wrench and you'll always have it available for you I and mean, obviously you need the uh, the ratchet to to uh, work the um, this socket here okay uh, the other thing that you're gonna need is a couple of wire brushes if you have them something to clean the O2 sensor with either a small one or a big one. You need some tie wraps because when you're done, you want to put all the wires back uh, into the motor in a neat way. This is to cut the tie wraps after you're done for an easy uh, job. And then a little container. I'm using the cap of um, of some spray that I have. This is uh, you're going to be putting sea foam in here. And you're going to be soaking your uh, the parts in there for at least 15 minutes, half an hour. I wouldn't say any less than that. Um, when you look at the price of a new sensor or of a sensor, you know, they run, uh, you can get them used. Um, and they run maybe 60, 80 bucks. I don't know. Uh, I've seen them uh, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more cheaper. Uh, I'd rather just clean mine. I know that it's working. It's dirty, but it's working. So um, uh, we clean it up and we move on. I don't want to get one that I don't know what condition is in. And a new one, it's quite expensive. Uh, to get a new oxygen sensor, it does run you into a couple of hundred dollars. So um, this is what you'll need for this project. So let's just take a look at it. And uh, you can see me go through uh, how to disassemble it and then I'm going to clean it and then I'm, I'm putting it back and I'll show you what it looks like after I put it back. So thank you for watching Florida for Fun Shine. I hope this helps someone. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions and if you're not subscribed, I ask you to subscribe. But we do have different videos. We do some boating videos. We do RV repairs. Uh, just regular uh, boat repairs and hopefully when everything uh, gets um, taken care of we'll be able to go out uh, fishing and, and we'll show you some fishing videos so let's go ahead and check out how I disassembled the oxygen sensor on a 200 horsepower Yamaha HPDI thank you for joining okay and there's your sensor right there you see those uh, tie wraps we need to unzip those it has two screws 10 millimeters there's two wire connection one is a blue 
uh, connector right there and then you have a green connector to your right if you can see it from there we need to take this apart there's a cover on it first and the cover needs to be removed first where it will expose your sensor let's check it out that way I could uh, disconnect the cables so I got another one here okay and this uh, just clips right off and then here this so now you have this disconnected blue will go on blue later on and green on green later on Okay, these are 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, you have two screws here, two bolts, I just say. That way this comes off, so let's do that now. This is your sensor right here. Now I left this in real time because it is a little tricky. You have to, you know, make sure that you're turning the wires at the same time as you're turning the uh, sensor as you pull it out. Now we're going to look at the bolts. These are the three bolts that we need to remove to get inside the actual sensor housing to clean it also.
Now there is a little tube in there. You need to pull that out and you also want to clean that. That looks very, very dirty, to be honest with you. So it did need a good cleaning. And the housing inside also, you will also want to uh, do a little cleaning in there. But this is uh, one of the reasons why some of um, the motors, they may miss, they may not have power. Your oxygen sensor is dirty.